Greetings, this is N1IR from N1IR.com, and today we're going to go over some Fios infrared problems that we had. Uh, when I got Fios, I switched from Comcast to Fios, and Verizon, which is the provider of Fios, gave me this. This is a Motorola modem that they gave me, and it's a uh, DCT700. And unfortunately, if you look on the back here, uh, there's no remote infrared plug, unlike the Comcast. Xfinity, you notice that there's a cable in, TV out, channel selection, and an infrared in. And the infrared in uses this guy right here. So you can actually remote mount your box somewhere and just have this sticking out in front of the TV. So, and take a look at the size comparison. That's, <laughs> I don't know why it has to be that big. But anyways, this is what I did right here. Um, and I just modded that, put a plug on it. Green is ground, the blue is the middle pin, the orange is the upper pin. Uh, green is your sleeve. Uh, your tip is going to be blue. And your ring is going to be orange. So that just plugs in just like that. And I don't have to drill any holes in it, it already comes with. A little hole right here that I can just stick the wires coming out of there like that and then once I can return it back I can take all this stuff out and just return it no harm no foul there's no you know no one will know that was in there and doing this stuff except for you guys that are watching the video so that was my little modification I'll put up the schematics I'll put up the uh, data sheets for all the devices and uh, that's pretty much it and uh, pretty easy mod to do